Here, I put up another story on alternative energy. Um, this one might actually be produced um, just because it isn't, it wouldn't be good for residential use in its current form. So it's not like me and you could just use this machine. So they might actually use it for their own industry. A German company has developed a machine capable of synthesizing petroleum based fuels from water and carbon dioxide. Uh, the power to liquid rig converts gases extracted from water into liquid hydrocarbon fuels. It says, I would call it a miracle because it completely changes the way we are producing fuels for cars, planes, and also the chemical industry. The Dresden based company expects the technology to have a big impact on the future fuel market. The electrically powered installation uses a process known as fischer tropsch synthesis, first developed by German chemist Franz Fischer and Hans Tropsch in 1925. For 90 years later now, they've known about this for 90 years and they're now coming up with a machine to do it. So the fischer tropsch reaction converts colorless, odorless, incombustible carbon dioxide gas extracted from water and hydrogen gas generated from water vapor by electrolysis into liquid fuels such as diesel, jet kerosene, and other chemicals. The conversion process takes place in a series of reactors at temperatures between 150 and 300 degrees Celsius. However, the FT fuel technology will always be more expensive than getting conventional liquid hydrocarbon fuels from oil or coal. What is important is that the value creation happens at the place where you use the fuel, so there will be no crude oil transportation costs and expensive infrastructure pipelines. You're producing the fuel right where you're actually going to use it. The U.S. military has spent up to $150 per gallon on alternative jet fuels made from algae, which is a good bit more than the approximately $3 per gallon that traditionally jet fuels currently cost in the U.S. Although $150 seems a lot for a gallon of gas, the U.S. has spent a fortune on fuel during its 13-year campaign in Afghanistan. The military themselves estimate that the cost of delivering fuel to remote bases is $400 a gallon. So yeah, $400 a gallon to transport, mostly in transport costs, getting it from here to there, through caravans or pipelines or ships or, or whatever it takes to actually move the fuel. They're saying that with this machine, you can just get a bucket of water and, <laughs> you know, a big tub of water and create it yourself right there. But the technology has been around for 90 years, been suppressed, obviously, and kept on the back burner, so to speak. So I don't know why really now would be any different. But they need to get permits for this and regulations, and they have to go through a bunch of government hurdles. So it might be years, if ever, that it actually gets made.